know it's gonna go down. So, I just hard launched. Well, not just me. Me and my um, my boo thing, we just hard launched. I really want to film like a get ready with me, but I don't know what I'd be getting ready for. Good morning, Stinka. So, I am off work today. I thought I saw something moving in the background. I'm off work today and I slept really good. I did have a little jump scare of a nightmare wow. last night, but it's a no biggie. Boy, tell him, I'm in the you building. Know Everybody get on the dance floor. This girl got a dog. She better shake it all night. Wow. Wow. She got wow. a dog. She got 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 a dog. I tried to make breakfast potatoes, you know, the golden brown ones, but all the golden brown decided to stick to the bottom of the pan, so now I have this. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Bone apple teeth. So, I just hard launched. Well, not just me. Me and my um, my boo thing, we just hard launched our marriage. We just hard launched it. I. <laughs> I am freaking out, okay, y'all? Like, life is so crazy. I can't believe it. I think I'm nervous because obviously I didn't want, I've never wanted a wedding. Like, I've never dreamt of a wedding, okay? And so, I didn't want to have to plan a wedding. And a lot of people around me are okay with planning weddings and stuff, but like me personally, I just did not want to do that. Plus, I don't know about y'all, but weddings are like mad expensive for what i understand it's supposed to be your magical day but at, to what extent is it going to be my magical day because is my magical day going to put me in debt i'm gonna have to pull loans and stuff for that and i didn't want to do that we didn't want to do that so um we just simply went to the courthouse okay and literally i think we've been married for like a month now <laughs> this is so weird because i still feel like i'm just a little girl I feel so young and so like not ch I don't feel ch how do I explain it I never knew that I'd be getting married I never thought I would get married um I never thought that was gonna ever be in my future and I never see myself as a bride like I've always thought of myself as a flower girl literally and I always said like if I was ever to go to a wedding I would just show up simply for the wedding cake and that was it um so for me to be married is like really crazy to me and we like we didn't tell anybody um we didn't tell our family but we just hard launched it i put it on tiktok and he put it on facebook but is that too much business like my last name out there is that too much i don't freaking know i don't know i don't know i'm just Big F, not the little one. That's really what I wanted the caption to be. Big F, not the little one. But my sister was like, no, don't do that. So I was like, okay, big fish, not the little fish. Anyways, um, but then I found one and it was like, allow me to reintroduce myself. So, <laughs> that is eating the girls up. I don't know if it actually is or not, but it's eating me up, okay? <laughs> allow me to reintroduce myself. What? What do you mean? So, um, I have to wash my hair. Because if y'all saw my bone right now, y'all would absolutely roast the mess out of me. And I don't need that in my life. So, I am going to take, I'm not even take, I'm going to lay down real quick for like five hours. And then I'm going to get up and I'm going to go wash my hair. And I hope that I do not burn my neck again because when I washed my hair and I was like pressing it out or whatever, flat ironing it, I like sizzled the mess out of my neck and 
it like scabbed up and stuff it fell off but there's still like a little faint scar and i love her so much but anyways um so yeah i'm it's like 4 30 right now so yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna lay down uh possibly take a nap don't really know i just need to rest my feet believe it believe it or not um i flat ironed my hair i flat ironed my hair and it basically looks like someone's version of like just blow drying their hair but for me it's 2013 <laughs> okay no but for real I can literally put my hair in a bun and that is a very big accomplishment because I was not able to put my hair in a bun circa like 2021. So for this to be a thing right now, shout out to all the hairdressers that I've ever had in my entire life. Um, but yeah, if my hair was actually dry, it'd probably be a lot more straighter than it is. But also coming from a girl that literally does not know how to do her hair, um, I can put it in a bun. Anyways and in this lady her drink she was like you have the most beautiful skin complexion what do you use for your face i'm like honey my sweat this is she. this is she look at all that hair natural under eyeliner right here i feel like i'd eat it up like with a little wing oh but i can't put anything on my waterline because it will actually make me cry so i can barely wear mascara honestly because i don't know but i really like mascara i want to get into all things girls like i want to do my hair i want to do my makeup i want to do all those things and i just don't because <laughs> first of all doing my hair is like a real trigger for me because i literally it's so much it's so thick like obviously it's not long but it's super thick and dense and it's just stress inducing for me so i'd rather not mess with it but on the other hand i want to feel cute and beautiful i mean i'm already cute and beautiful like but i just want to feel more cute and beautiful okay so every time i try to be intentional with the eating i feel like i get tested because then people will start giving me free food free drinks or like gift cards to a place with nothing but food and obviously i'm not gonna turn it down because like why would i do that um so i just feel like i'm being is it a test is this the test also i wash my hair right and i flat ironed it and all that stuff but the next day it rained okay it rained and then i sweat a lot at work so like it looks like that i know whatever this chapter of my life is going to be called sisterhood because my sister is coming to visit supposedly and low-key i am excited about it but would i ever tell her that to her face or on the phone no excited i don't like saying that yeah well i'm excited to see her and my nephew and it's mostly because she knows how to have fun. A girly that is very charismatic and she is very bubbly and a lot. She's a lot. She's loud. Boy, is she loud. I learned an inside voice. She doesn't know what an inside voice is. Her inside voice is like here. Out of frame. Okay, it's out of frame. And when she's talking to me sometimes, my eardrums are doing this. Jazz hands, shaking, bro, shaking. I'm like, can you, can you talk a little bit quieter? Can you whisper? But anyways, so yeah, hopefully y'all get to meet her. Hopefully she actually comes out here with my nephew. Uh, what else? I really want to go to the drive through zoo with them, but I don't want to do it in my car. <laughs> because then the animals are ruthless, okay? Not only will they pop a window at your car, but they will pop a tire ram put a dent in your, your your side door so now you can't even open it and then it's gonna be your fault because you decided to go there to have a good time so it's day one um of me not having any sugar and i feel low energy i feel very low vibrational i don't feel i just i don't feel terrible like i don't feel any kind of way like crazy or nothing i just don't i really want 
it's just so such a natural reaction for me to get something sweet every day or at least like buy something sugary and the fact that I have not done that today is very much so like what's going on what's going on why where, where, where's our sugar where's our sugar tomorrow is Monday and so I'm gonna try to do this for I'm gonna say three days but I really want to do it for like a week but I want to start small then grow bigger hey this is my sugar detox update basically yesterday was terrible um I woke up I woke up yesterday morning and my head was just thumping it was thumping so bad I had a headache so I was like okay I'm gonna still go to work it should be fine took ibuprofen took one uh typically I take two so I took one before I went into work and I drink some well, I drink water and I ate breakfast so I was like okay it should be fine no progressively got more and more intense as the day was going on and i was at work for like three to four hours because i literally i went and took my 15 and i was just like this is insane like i can't i was my hands were shaking and i was just lightheaded and i felt dizzy and my head it was hurting so bad it was hurting so bad when i get migraines they typically last for really uh, they last all day basically and so basically that is what happened. So I had a migraine the entire day and I woke up and it was still here. It wasn't as bad as it was yesterday, but it was still here. Hey. So I'm here chilling and I'm not ready to go home yet because that means I have to do responsible adult things and I don't feel like doing that right now. So I kind of want to just chill here. Um. I need to clean the house because my sister is coming into town. Oh, I'm off work tomorrow. And I'm supposed to be going to go see a family friend tomorrow. Also, my nephew, he did a school project on me. On me. Like, talk about honored. I'm so honored. And he had to make a little, um, a 3D model of like something that represents me and what I do for work or whatever and so he made a little coffee cup with like coffee beans in it it was it's so cute so we just got done eating breakfast at IHOP and now we're going to go pick up a friend and we're gonna go to Charlotte I think Charlotte or Concord I don't know I really want to go to Trader Joe's because they have these little um melon mango things and they're like covered in tahine and they're actually really good and i'm like is this candy but it's not candy it's actually mango so today we're gonna be talking about how my boyfriend and i met each other and we and we how we met and where we met and yeah so i'll let my boyfriend start off long ago on the tinder I got on very lonely on vacation <laughs> by myself in a snowstorm. I get swiped right on a beautiful woman, and boom, my future girlfriend, wife, fiance matched with me looking for friends. Who looks for friends on Tinder? I didn't know. I was I was sheltered. She's like, I like your dog. I'm like, my dog's dead, but you cute so we can continue talking but i was in the mountains in the snow for like five days never left the cabin always talked to her day in day out not a minute in between i knew though i lived 45 minutes away from her i was just in the circle for her distance when I went on that vacation. So, if I never went on vacation to the random mountains I went to, we never had known each other. We connected through SpongeBob. That's an old person thing. Not many young people know about that. We went to Cracker Barrel for our first date, and then we went to the mall, and then back oh. to Cracker Barrel. We didn't start at Cracker Barrel, we ended at Cracker Barrel. I started at Cracker Barrel and then went to the mall. You started at the mall, went to Cracker Barrel, and then went to seafood with your family. 
Oh, did you? Yeah. Did you actually? Yeah. <laughs> I was so nervous. I didn't know what to wear. You were nervous? We met in Best Buy of all places. Was it Best Buy? Yeah, yeah. I seen you across the, the way. I'm like, is that her? She looked a whole lot better in person. Not a catfish. Get catfish. I thought she would see me and then run away. <sighs> and she's like, Dustin. I know he like gave me such an awkward hug and I was like, what is this? We just cousins? We we side hugging. Who side hugs? Sorry, first date. Never touched never touched a woman. <laughs> Been fifty-five years. They're like red flag, red flag. <laughs> Honestly, I thought he was lying about his age because he didn't he didn't at the time he was like, like Look at me. Do I look twenty-three? I'm almost thirty now. I still look like I have been <laughs> a father 15 years. I thought he had a whole family and children. And one day he made a joke. And I was like, oh, so you do have kids? And he's like, no. And so that's how she wrote. And ever since then, we've been like this. So we've been locked in.